Josh has one of the big key pieces in terms of Sylvan Awakening. Or Sylvan Awakening. Sylvan Keratin. I really like having that. But you are on the draw. You have like six lands in hand. Wait, was Josh on a mall? Did I miss that? Didn't they just roll? Did he maul before they rolled to see who was on the play? Chad, am I blind? Or was I just tuned out for some reason and missed it? Because not, that's crazy. I feel like Josh mulliganed without knowing whether he was on the play or draw. Because that hand, he just put a card to the bottom. I, I can't be bothered, chat. I'm doing hot girl shit. Leave me alone. I'm getting bullied. Oh, you also had Brazen Borrower. That was the other reason Standard was also kind of messed up. You had all the uh, adventure cards. And they just had access to, like, the best one or the second best one behind Bone Crusher Giant. Whatever, what, whatever... That style was your choice. Sometimes you played both. Carrotted. Pass. I thought Seth was going to try to bounce it. It has hex proof. It's a consider draw. I forgot that you're allowed to play with snow coverts. Because I got printed in a standard set. I was like, why does he have snow coverage in his deck? Not that there's a ton of cards in Pioneer that benefit from that, but. Kato! There are four non combo decks. There is Mono Red, which is the like. Mono red like mid rangey pile. It has like the swift spears and stuff, but it has the Chandras in it as well with like 12 Eidolon effects Really good in our meta um, And then you have mono black vampires which is a pile of mono black vampires Because pog um, And then you have this blue black rogues which Seth makes a 1-1 one, one unblockable. Kato is phased out. He's going to turn it upside down. So we understand that it cannot be targeted. It just no longer exists. But the last one is Salty Delirium. So we do have a couple. If I played, I would be a combo deck. There is no Niv Delight. Uh, the player that was playing Niv Delight went back to college and said, and I quote, gas prices make it unavailable for me to come down reasonably. So I was like, all right, cool. So no, we do not have a Niv Delight player. We do, but with college right now, we do not. Because that is where he is at. Which kind of sucks. When that becomes like the hindrance. So we are going to exile that into the void forever. It's a token so it will not come back. That would also be me. I've been putting Grease Fang together. Um, as of right now in the tournament, no. There is no Grease Fang players. I told Seth that, that would be a pile that he would like because he was really big into the um, Soul Flare deck for a while, I think. I, at least that type of shell. Because he like just wanted to play with like Deathrite Shaman and stuff. But right now there is no Grease Fang player. Sadly enough... Because I'm in the booth. Chilling with the homies. Expressive iteration hitting Opt. 
consider and a third mystery wild card. Don't know what it is. Still do not know what it is. He is showing me and I still don't know what it is. <laughs> But he puts it in hand, he puts a consider in the exile zone, and he puts opt on the bottom, I believe. Oh, it's a botanical sanctum. Nice. In this spot, I guess I would like to see Josh have put the consider in his hand and just put the botanical sanctum in the exile zone because it looks like he's going to play it as his land drop for turn anyway. So he wouldn't be forced to consider right now. So in a storm of three, don't know what that's for from my understanding. Is this what it is? The three is four? Or that's how many cards he has in his graveyard. Good job, chat. I'm proud of you. Because it matters for Seth. Because of this card. Obviously, it's not for a storm in my Pioneer format. We milled two. We are reading. We're up to five. Yeah, that's what it's for, chat. Good job. We thought sees. We look at his hand. We cry, probably. Express Federation seems like arguably the best take in this spot. Because like you're not really doing anything if you take one of those. You have to be able to take them both. And getting Express Federation out of the way is really good. Or I could see an argument where you just take the portable hole. But I think that's the worst take. You... Never mind. Call me a liar. That's the best take in Seth's eyes. I just felt like the Express Federation had to be the best one. So your opponent couldn't dig for the Jess guy ascendancy as well. In a matchup like this, this is one you that you would want to see Josh have to win game one. Um, main reason is that it's very possible that you lose one of these games that you're not on to play to just an unmoored ego taking your ascendancies away. Yeah, I I felt like I felt it like expressive iteration had to be the best take, but. I, I don't know. I'm just washed up while I'm in the booth. Um, I know one of the rips with Josh there is a land. I do not know what the other two cards are. Another Siphon Awakening, it looks like. I could be just completely wrong. And bottom, Steam Vents into the exile. Um, or in the middle of his creature slash artifact. We treasure cruise. Here we go. This is why this matchup is so awkward for the rogues deck. It's because cards like Treasure Cruise and Dig Through Time are legal. What do you think the Ascendancy decks are just going to start playing Temporal Trespass? When are they taking extra turns? So, we flash in Soaring Thought Thief, mill two more. <laughs> I remember when the Lotus Field deck, I don't know what take, what extra turn spell it is, but the one that you can awaken and make your creature huge. I know, I remember when Lotus Field was playing that. At least I believe it was Lotus Field. Because they would just like, yeah, part the water veils, because a lot of their grabs was just like two extra turn spells and then X card. So it was like, you let me cast a pour over the pages and take an extra turn, or you let me take two extra turns, which is probably worse. 
So. Yeah, it's like, it's like Omni part, then the other one. It's like, all right, good luck. So we're going to attack. Just use Kato as a draw. Um, I guess that would be a good card to pull up because probably not one that a lot of people have on their radar. Um... Neither did Scryfall, apparently. Is it because I didn't put a comma? No, it's because I'm a toddler and can't spell. Uh, da, 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 da. But if you're curious what Planeswalker is in play for Seth, it's this guy. Yeah, they just, those field players are wild. But, cool part about this card is it has self-protection in a way. In terms of the fact that it phases out after it's been in for one turn. Which, it needs four activate, or... It needs four activations to use its alt ability, but realistically you get one for free unless they have instant speed interaction. Which is a little less likely in Pioneer. Because obviously you just don't have bolts on the ready. Like you wouldn't say modern. Um, so it's been putting in a lot of work. It's been letting Seth draw a ton of cards. Attack again. Um, so. Wait. Did he block? I don't know how many the rogue needs before it has death touch, but it's 3-2 with death touch. Maybe he figured that out? Also, I've not been keeping track of life times. I just realized that. Hey, how you doing? Welcome. Welcome to the stream. We're seeing some fun matchups. The only issue is Josh just played enough lands. He's just made six two twos with indestructible. That's kind of crazy. Seth's about to get boinked, I think. Bonked on the head. So, interesting to see where he sends these, if it's not like 3 to the Dome, and then 3 to Kaito, or Kaito, or the Planeswalker. Seth has a lot of mana. So we got 4... It looks like going to face. And then we have two going to him. Uh, not going to kill him though. Because these are only two twos. At the moment. And this puts Josh tapped out. Are they three threes? Am I? How'd that die? At five loyalty. Alright, I, I gotta find out. I wanna see how he attacks.
Oh, I'm just... Alright, never mind. I had the attacks backwards. Yeah, he attacks with four, but like I thought I saw him point the two lands at the planeswalker. That's why I was so confused. I thought maybe somehow they got lost in translation that they're only two twos and said like thinking they were three threes or something. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure. Not I think you're trolling, but I guess I should have just counted Seth's life total and waited. Stop being goofy, I suppose. We attack. Swing a ton. Unblocked one in the air. It's 3 1 in the air. It's 2 3 twos. Plus, whatever Swing Thought Thief has him pumping. Uh, yeah, Thought Thief has him actually all bigger than that. If there's eight in there. Which it looks like it's actually one short. Or it looks like I counted eight. Which it is. I didn't have a dice out, but not keeping them up to date. They're like, look, what if we put dice out here to help show how many cards are in the bin? And they show two dice that's at seven. So I think it's one short. And it's not. And now I'm just goofy. Alrighty. So in the gate, set copy. So for the most part, or you don't negate set copy. I don't know. I'm done talking. I'm washed. But, cause, I mean, I guess, like, I don't know exactly, obviously. Why, Randy? Does that say Grixis, Zerda, Anvil? Yeah. Dude, I need that deck list. That sounds hot. I was like, can we get that deck list? Just Guy Green. Oh, you got Oh, um, oh yeah. math. Okay, that makes sense. Just play all math. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, play all math, play land, crack it. Yeah. With your Fable Passage, play... That after. Yeah, it's like playing Scape Shift and Modern. It's like you could just play like Rug, but at the same time, just add White for Omnath, and then at that point, you're playing four colors. Might as well add a fifth color for Bring the Light Valky. <laughs> yeah, you might, you might as well just add a fifth Let's color. do it all. Just do everything. It doesn't even matter. Uh, Reader. But Grixis, Zerda, Anvil. We might we might need that deck list. I think Anvil's cool. The, yeah, the... It's got some really weird lines. It's kind of got like the... Like, sack it to itself. Sylvan Curator is also kind of a busted card. Yeah, dude, it's like Arboreal Grazer with Hexproof. Yeah, that... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to say something, bro? Like, I should. <laughs> Taryn said something about me. Like, that should be more professional. And I'm saying it now because I don't care. I was like, man, they both just got such fat asses. Yeah, that's both, true. Like O threes, big bazookas. That's my favorite part. Is like, I tell somebody to play Grazer in their modern deck. They're like, why? I'm like, you know how much you ever block? You ever blocked block a Ragavan? Ragavan? Oh, like so he good. Chumps the shit out of me. I love old it. Doesn't even chump, dude. Doesn't die. Yeah, he just sits there and goes mm, back up. Yeah, <laughs> sir, please. <laughs> this sir, is can, this is a Wendy's. You get your, monkey, here, get your monkey here. out of here. I'm out here trying to do stuff. You know, I, just, I think it's funny that it just has reach randomly. Yeah. Like she's like, so unnecessary. <laughs> you don't even die to like ink moss because you're able to block it. I think in terms of hammer time, there's like, oh, nice flyer, block it. Mm, does the blue black deck have a counter spell for the enchantment? 
I'm such a stupid sloth. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Bro, Blox Emerald. Dude, that that sloth. Blox, Blox Diamond, not Blox Emerald. Blox Diamond. Yeah, Blox Diamond. Oh, oh, he didn't have the counter. Oh, reader. You already saw this one, Josh. <laughs> yeah, you have to read him again, though. For sure. Well, they both they both had to read it. Game, I think it was game two. Uh, uh, Seth thought that it triggered for each rogue attacking. Oh it's my just one god, or more rogue. Seth, are you okay? <laughs> He's doing. It. He just wants to play Kaido. Yeah. Which seems pretty dope. We just. I don't think we're playing either digs or like treasure cruises to benefit from it. Yeah. Um. Like, on the terms of, like, we don't have blockers, but he's a lot more of an aggro deck, so it's just, like... All right. It's been a lot of drawing for him. What are the odds that Seth is playing into the story? He might be. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. That card's so sick. That was, a, that was one of my favorite decks pre-MH2, was the uh, Spike Grixis control list where you're thought scouring your opponent so your drowns better and so you turn on your into the story. Right. It's so sick. Right. Now they just play a Dragon Race Chandler and we cry. Yeah, it's so stupid. Oh. <laughs> Imagine playing Dragon's Rage Chandler. Couldn't be me. Yeah, couldn't be me. Every time I play it, I feel like I'm cheating. You know, I'm so excited for Bant Triumph so I can play Bant Reclamation. Because when I played Tamer Wreck, I was like, yeah, this is cool. And like Renna Six is tight. But at the same time, I'm playing cards like Fire Ice in my deck when I could be playing Solitude and Prismatic Ending. And March. And March. And the Wandering Emperor. And you can now also play another one. You play not in your deck. I'm actually not playing March in my list, though. Yeah, March is just sometimes like a good, like, Two of maybe yeah. to be like nice well, target dude. When I when I so after playing Team Wreck, I was like, I want to do this with Solitude. So I, I it actually surprised me more that you wouldn't play March. Well, so I'm playing four Solitude, four Ending, and I had two March, and it kind of it, there, there's like a weird balance you have to find with that Wreck mean, yeah, exactly. where you have like enough interaction to like survive but you also want to have enough fuel to like go off once you've got the wreck going because when i was playing the two march i had like i had to trim like an archmage's charm and yeah I think like i like have I was, I was like either nexus or like a gross fire or something was the other trim well the only reason why Maybe it would type surprise me that march is to cut like don't get me wrong i get prismatic ending Obvious reasons why. Careful. But um, the only reason I was saying it would surprise me is because March is instant speed. And I feel like you would get much more value out of being able to be like, float all the mana, uh, March your six drop that you could never hit with prismatic ending. So you have like those kind of outs, but like obviously also just being like one white mana, get yeah. your Aether Vial, get your one drops of any kind. Yeah, and this is also just like the testing phase of the deck, so I just wanted to be more linear at first. Right. Yeah, you want to make sure that you can find like a really good shell until you're like, all right, this card's ass. Yeah. I need to replace this yeah. card um, and go from there. But yeah, I've just seen a lot of March like be good because like one mana instead of maybe hitting oh, a Ragavan, you more just hit Sagas. You know, that seems good. Yeah. But, uh, baby, oh, spirits. Thanks for the follow. I feel like I don't care, like, a ton about Saga, though. And you might not. It might yeah. be too slow for you. Just, like, just because, like, I have Endgame to kill tokens, which isn't great, but, like, in a pinch, I can. Solitude right. handles tokens. Shark Typhoon, I can make big giant ones to block tokens. Well, that's what I mean. Like, I feel like Saga gets better whenever like the card that they can hit can like crush your deck yeah we're like Which for example i'm playing really living end me, like think. i'm crying when i see that card yeah because i'm like so oh they're gonna get a relic and i'm yeah, gonna die so get relic and tormont's crib yeah and i'm just out here yeah literally crying like hope i get there quicker like oh what, <laughs> how mad how upset are you when you duress and you see those two cards you're like god yeah you're like oh, hi i gotta take the cruise i guess <laughs> One of these draws two, one of these draws three. My life sucks. And one of them hurts your game plan pretty bad, so. Yeah. It's just gotta be cruise. Yeah. Yeah. They said Ren's too good, you just have to play it as well. 
and then bring the light Valkyries. Might as well just splash that in there too. Yeah, true. Uh, cast bring the light to grab a time warp. Go ahead. Take your other turn. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. I do. I do miss playing that deck. Like the, the what's wilderness rack, just like cycling Nexus over and over. Yeah. I yeah. I looked at Damian one time, and Damian's like, "Do you just have it?" I was like, "Well, I got 15 cards left. I have a snap catcher mage that's able to hit you every turn." And I have all these ways to look through my deck to guarantee I hit it for the next seven turns. And he goes, oh, okay. And I'm like, all right, go ahead, see ya. Also, what's cool is you can play Deluge. Four. Never cut the card. Ever. Four? Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. I just feel like it's a lot. That card's gross, Four though. Deluge, four Wreck. It's like, cast it. Four Wreck? You're on four and four? Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Listen. You playing 80? No. But, like, four wreck is way more reasonable when you're playing four deluge. I think that makes sense. Yeah, because you just, like, you're getting enough... The, n the, number, of, the to... number of times where I would, like, play a wreck and then untap and then, like, kill or counter their thing, and I go to my turn, and I play a land, and I deluge, find two counter spells, untap past the turn. I guess the other thing is, like, you kind of have to play it now because, like... Seiju just like yeah getting it like you got way more hate cards out there for it yeah that it's just like also like hammer is playing uh the blue white hammer is playing that blue white creature um i know it doesn't really help because you would pay more mana into it what's can't cast spells oh, lavinia. More, huh lavinia yeah yeah which is like not necessarily a great example because like again you don't need extra copies. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, there's cards like that. So, like, being able to cast the cards that you can at four mana over and over again to, like, buy you some time. Lavinia, yeah. But, um, what what is, like what said, is like, Lavinia do against me? Uh, I was saying, like, you won't necessarily be able to cast, like, Nexus. Because, like, say, you, say you're in a situation where you got, like, four lands, but it will, you can, like, uh, you where can get I, around yeah, it by yeah, being yeah, able yeah. to have okay, extra yeah, yeah, copies yeah. to be like, all right, I'll deluge, grab two counter yeah. spells, and go ahead. Yeah. That's why I was saying, like, kind of getting around that yeah. in those bad spots, because those decks will be like, oh, I'll prevent you from doing this, or because you only have one copy ever, and you're generally pitching the other copies, because before you didn't have to worry about it getting blown up or yeah. dying the hammer time on turn two. Sag. I mean, probably, anyway, huh? That's what Solitude's for. True. Get them. You don't even care if they gain life. You're like, I'll yeah. get there eventually. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to take you for 40. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get there eventually. Well, that's what, that's what happened last week when I was playing against Team Wreck is they had a solitary confinement and I just like built up a big board of sharks and they just like weren't really doing other stuff that matter. And I was like, uh, end of your turn, Odawara, bounce your solitary confinement. And they were like, uh huh. I was like, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Smoosh. Uh, Lucas, are you going to SCG ND with control? With control? Yeah. No, I'm taking Tron and Popper Elves. I would be taking. Well, are you talking blue white or like the Bant Rack deck, big guy? I think it's a brick, Satch. Uh, I don't know what that's about, but apparently I make him sad. It'll be alright. Dude, Josh is... He's doing, doing, he's doing stuff for sure. Oh, oh, oh! That's it. That's all. Oh, Park Bant. Uh, no, I'm... I'm I'm holding off on playing that Bant Rec deck. Well, so, like, I won't be here for FNM. and um, When does New Capenna come out? <laughs> Don't worry. I, I mean, work at a Magic I'm sure. Gathering. I'm sure there will be an opportunity for me to play uh, Bant. April 29th. April 29th. Yeah, so there's going to be an opportunity for me to play Bant Rec before New Capenna comes out, but I won't be... I wouldn't take that deck to any tournaments until I had the triumphs. And even then, I don't know if it's really, really a tournament deck. It's just like an FNM deck to play for fun. Yeah. It's What's up, dude?
Three. So this says uh, so universe is beyond Warhammer 40k is the commander decks. Lord of the Rings, Tales of Middle Earth is a full booster set, modern legal and coming to arena. So not standard legal then, based on that. Standard pioneer. So, yeah. Coming to arena. That's <laughs> and then the Fortnite secret layer and the Street Fighter secret layer. I didn't realize that the... What's the Chug Jug, bro? What do you think the Chug Jug is? Elixir of Immortality? Well, if they do it like they did the Street Fighter, they'll just be... New unique. cards. New cards. Yeah. What if it's just like the most busted artifact they've ever printed? It's just Mistress Bobble, but you draw two cards instead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just combine Mistress Bobble and Urza's Bobble. So you, you look at the top card and you look at a random card in their hand and then you draw two. Yeah, you just, you just draw two. Why not? Eight cast isn't good enough in Legacy. <laughs> oh, yeah. It just just brainstorm. Brainstorm <laughs> for zero. What's the activation cost on Brainstorm? Is it just one? Is it two mana to play and one to activate? Uh, or is it one and one? I, I don't know. That card's not a real thing, so I don't know. Yeah, whatever it is, it's not good. One, one and two. Yeah, reverse. Oh, two mana to activate. Still trash at zero mana. It's just garbage a card. For Urza, bro. Garbage <laughs> card. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's to turn on your moon snare prototype. Want to play two you to can activate? Get it off yeah. of a saga, bro. <laughs> oh my god. It's crazy. I was just... Zero to play in Act Fate. Now we're talking. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. What is going on here? Why set, my boy Seth is... on a one lander. Oh, no, Seth. Never mind. Oh, he just drew another land. He, he's out here doing, doing his best. Pog. Not a blue source, though. That is. He's got to flip the other one right now. Make sure he's not looking. <laughs> flip the land. <laughs> Back at game 25 live. That's probably like if they were to make them. Probably would be some about gaining life or something. Yeah. Uh, it, it's just going to move it's forever, move. bro. There's not a whole Very lot you cool. can do to stop it. I was trying to see if there's a way to tighten this, but I guess not. No. I know. I gotta. We gotta figure something out about it. I tried before, but like these. Well, oh yeah, thud right in people's ears. Hope they enjoyed it. Oh yeah, thud right in their ear, brother. Lord of the Rings said his wife not going to bother buying in the modern. There might be some truth to that. I don't know. Yeah, dude. Gandalf is going to ruin modern. So mm. cringe. I can't wait to solitude a Balrog. <laughs> 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 They're going to print the Balrog. It's just Grizzlebrand, but it's one mana cheaper. <laughs> what would you put the the eye as? Eye of, uh, of Sauron? Eye of Sauron. Yeah, what do you what do you think that thing? What do you think it does? Would it be an enchantment? Like, I feel like it's got to be an artifact. I feel like it's got to be like. A, no, it's a dude. I, oh, art, like the actual. Oh no, I'm thinking the mouth of Sauron. The, yeah, um, I, the eye like. Just like the big, the big old yeah. eyeball. The, the whole tower. Dumb, the bow to dumb. It's or got something. A, I think he's. I think it's an enchantment. Enchantment. Mm hmm. Okay. Um. Your opponent plays with their hand revealed. Okay. And that's actually so far that's pretty good. I would say. Trying to think of how to flavor it so that like you do the thing where like the ring bearer kind of just like loses control over themselves when they put it on. How how do we do that? That's what I'm trying to figure out. If they have an artifact in hand, they gotta discard it. <laughs> and then you get the you get the ring and it's an artifact, well, so you'd have to if, discard the ring. What if it's like your opponent plays with their hand reveal? Um you may look at the top card of each player's library at any time. And that's just all it does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just... 
Well, so like telepathy is a one man enchantment and commander where everybody plays with their hands revealed. So, yeah. Like the Eye of Sauron. Oh, we found a blue source. It'd be like a modern. We're doing it. It'd be it a also... modern playable power creep version. Yeah. It also came in on tap. Fuck. He's like, yo. But Josh has ra- two cards in hand. You guys are shipwrecked for No, it? he has three cards in hand. One of them is a mystical dispute. Yeah, dude. Now he's got four. Breeding pool and a play tapped. Just somewhere, somewhere bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's up? Uh, actually, I'm picking it back up. <laughs> Sorry, but oh, bouncing a portable hole. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Bob, you don't even know telepathy, dude. Yeah, Bob. Only opponent. Hey, you don't have to play with your hand revealed, you ding dong. He says, I'm a group show, hug player. Show, you show him what you got. Ain't no way, dog. We'll never know. So excited. Games are coming out that I enjoy. Like uh, Elden Ring? Wonderlands. Leagues on uh, Old School is over now, so I can uh, play games again. <laughs> so I'll probably play... I'm probably going to get Elden Ring and play it. I might get the Pokemon Legends game. I've uh, linked a couple Amazon links in the chat for somebody that was playing Elden Ring one time. Oh, from monitors? Yeah. <laughs> they hated him bad. Old school RuneScape. They said, ew. That's cool. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. <laughs> so it's like you've just heard it before? Yeah. Too many times you're like, I'm just not even considering... I heard, I heard about room. old school and RuneScape 3. I haven't been keeping track of life totals at all. I just like playing numbers going up simulator, dude. What can I say? Numbers going up simulator. Yeah. That's what Runescape is. Uh, true. There's nothing else. You can just boil it down to that single... Can't think of the word. But that's You boil it down to that. That's all that Runescape is. Try to convince anyone otherwise, and uh, Holy they will bar, literally bro. kill you. <laughs> Seth keeps just like... He, he, he do be bouncing. He's like, can I have my card back? He doesn't need him for... Uh... Doesn't need him for living end anymore. Yeah. So she chooses him in his pioneer deck now. Oh yeah. Oh, another blue source. Ooh, now he can play the borrowers. Ooh. I think he just has like negate in hand along with something else. For the dispute. Or you already made him use it. I don't remember. Yeah, well the re- the reason I play old school now, uh Smug and Ivia, is because I and I, I I'm basically, like, the only accomplishment I really have left on RS3 is just, like, the hardcore stuff, like, trimmed comp and, like, uh, I'm trying to think, just, like, the bossing titles. Because I, I have the completionist cape, master quest cape, all that good stuff, so. Update, that's time in the round, but I believe the game's over, so it doesn't matter. Excaboosh! Nice. Done been smacked by the rogues. Dude, will you stop? Dang it. Ding, 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 ding,